You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Andrew Tate, you up the bat. Ah. It's your boy Lay Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. The key is to be free in 2023. The key is to be free in 2023. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. But we back with another Andrew Tate reaction. Doing something different. Y'all wanted me to check out the motivational bag. Because he be wilding sometimes. But y'all was like, lay back. You got to check him out when he getting into his motivational bag. He helped a lot of y'all. Also, I got a new podcast coming. You know what I'm saying? Well, a revamp podcast. So be on the lookout for that. Especially the people that's watching this video. I think you might want to check into that. But yeah, so this is uh, Andrew Tate reveals the secret to success. Be ruthless. Let's see what he got. Fire squad. What's popping? Let's get it. If you're a man and you're out here and you go, you know what? Who do I want to be? I want to be strong and rich and brave and respected. Mm -hmm. Then I need friends who are strong and rich and brave and respected. Yep. That's what you need to do. If you're going to say, oh, I want to be these things, but I hang around with this guy because we play FIFA together, then you can stay a fucking loser. That's real. Brokies. I don't have time for sad people. I don't have time for unlucky people. I don't have time for someone who's complaining. I don't have time for negativity. Same here. I don't have time. I'm so ruthless. If I knew a dude who always had a cold, I wouldn't talk to him anymore. <laughs> You're too sick. I don't like it. Yeah. My circle is winners. Everyone yeah. around mm. me is a winner. No matter what bad happens in our lives, we win. Mm. And it's amazing to me that people understand that you are the sum of the five people you spend most time with. Yeah. But then they don't create their circle. No. They'll go, yeah, I understand that part. And then they'll still hang around with a bunch of fucking losers. The problem is, it has to be a value exchange. You can't be a loser hanging around with winners because winners don't want to hang around with you. You need to find mm. a way to provide value and work mm. your way up. But as you progress through life, there's going to have to be people you cut off because mm. they're just holding on to your... See, right here, he, he making sense. Right here, you the sum of the five friends you have. And if you want to be successful, you need to be around successful people. You can't be around bums and stuff like that. That's true. So I'm already seeing a difference from when he's talking this, that wild shit and when he's talking about this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can tell... He has implemented some of these things in his life because he has reached some level of success, right? So yeah, let me let's just hear more though. Let's go. Coattails slowing you down, mm. and no matter how many times you give them a chance, they don't mm. want to fucking progress. And that's their decision. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. You don't have to feel guilty about that. And and life is a value exchange. Every friendship, every relationship, every business relationship, there has to be an exchange of value. Mm, right. If you're as you progress through life, if people stay in the same place, you're only giving value and you're not receiving mm. any value back. Right. And you have to be ruthless about those things. Like I have a very curated circle, and everybody in my circle is extremely useful and we're extremely successful. And and it's a very motivating thing. If you're in a room full of ice cream experts mm -hmm. and all they talk about is ice cream, mm -hmm. how to move ice cream, how to sell ice cream, different flavors of ice cream, how you make ice cream, mm -hmm. you're gonna learn a lot about ice cream. Right. If you're in a room full of people who are billionaires, and guess what they're talking about? Money. Money. Right. And guess what you're gonna learn about? Money. Mm -hmm. I, I don't sit and have pointless conversations with people. Every, I don't even know what people are talking about. Mm. Me and my friends meet, we end up talking about the earth and how it can pay us. That's the wow. what we talk about. And that's how we managed to make a bunch of money. So you have to be ruthless with your circle. And for people out there who understand this, a lot of people say they understand it, but they genuinely don't. But if you do, and you are trying to progress your circle, you, you need to find a way to provide value. You need to mm -hmm. either join networks, like my one uh, on corporatetape.com, or you need to find a way to provide value. I'll give you an example. In Romania, I was driving and I went to a town called Cluj, it's a very small town. I went in a nice car and a kid came up to me and he said, I, I run the car spotting page and we, we take pictures of the Ferraris and Lamborghinis. Can I take a picture? Mm. It's like, yeah, sure. And anyway, he took a picture of it and then he gave me his business card and he said, I just want you to know, I don't even like cars. I just knew the best way for me to meet rich people is to take photos of nice cars. Wow. Great story. I was like, I was like, you're smart. Wow. I, I hired him. I'm wow. not surprised. He works for me. Yeah. <laughs> he still works for me for this day. Wow. He was smart enough to go, well, where's the money over there? Yeah. How do I get close to the money? Oh, they don't want to talk to me. But if I take cool photos of his car, he might want to talk to me. Right. You have to find a way to provide value to people. That's real. Yeah. If you provide value and it's a value exchange, you'll do good. But yeah, I say this to people and they go, oh, but my friend and you know, we, we have a good time together. Well, if you're going to prioritize your friends by drinking, Mm. and having fun, then you're gonna have a bunch of fucking loser friends. If mm. that's your life and you, that's your life to live, it's fine. Don't complain mm. when the NHS are on strike and you can't get seen and I'm in a private hospital in fucking Saudi. That's your problem. You have to just make your decisions in life and, and live and live, live true to them. But 
creating a circle is ultra important. Yeah, absolutely. And it's not just important financially, it's also important for your entire life and your mindset as absolutely. a whole. Because you don't, it's amazing, especially amongst men, we never want to be the poorest person in the room. Mm. We never want to be the weakest person in the room. Mm. You never want to be, so if, you, if, you are, if you're with a group of killers, you have now this massive expectation. It's almost like societal pressure and a positive force. Mm. Uh, if, I, if I go to my friends, I can't be the weakling. Mm. If everyone does X amount of push-ups, I have to do them. You might I get can. dropped out. Yes, well, you don't want to- That's not happening. You don't want to feel that way, no. right? That's it. So you can get, just like peer pressure mm. can be a negative, peer mm. pressure can be a massive positive and it can accelerate mm. you towards the moon. You can That's get an real. upward spiral. Mm. That's so real. my team, it's not just about how we make money. It's also an entire mindset. I don't want to be the only scared one in the group. If me and my team, if me and my six closest friends are walking down the street and a couple guys came up to us with machetes, I know they wouldn't be afraid. Mm. So now I'm not afraid. Now no one's afraid. Mm. Now you're fucked. Mm. Now, the guys, like, like, now the guys with a machete oh, should fuck. be afraid. That's right. It's like an <laughs> army. It's like yeah, a gang, right? You have to have that mentality. So it's not just even about money. It's about your entire life you create. If you're a person, if you're a man and you're out here and you go, you know what? Who do I want to be? I want to be strong and rich and brave and respected. Then I need friends who are strong and rich and brave and respected. Right. That's what you need to do. If right. you're going to say, oh, I want to be these things, but I hang around with this guy because we play FIFA together, then you can stay a fucking loser. And that is your decision. Stay a loser. I have no sympathy for losers. I want to make this another thing clear that ends up on TikTok and I'm going to cry her eyes out. I don't give a solitary fuck if you want to stay at the bottom of the societal totem pole. If I'm going to ignore choice. how I feel day after day so I can perform, regardless of whether I'm sad, happy, pissed off, tired, if I'm going to get up and work anyway when I'm tired, mm -hmm. how do you expect me to feel sorry for you because you didn't work when you were tired? If I don't care about my own emotions, I certainly don't give a solitary shit about yours. If you want to stay a loser, stay one. Good. It's fine. It's, uh, stay a loser. I have no sympathy for you. I don't care. What would you say the single thing was for you to go and grab life by the bollocks and go for it? Because something had to spark that. I Great was question. instilled with a duty for a very long time to honor my ancestors through achievement. Mm. And I was told from a very young age that the only thing your ancestors are interested in is achievement. Wow. Even to this day, when I do podcasts, people repeatedly talk about my father. If I wasn't successful, he wouldn't be spoken about anymore. Mm. He, he died nine years ago mm. and he was a good chess player, but no one's really that interested in chess. The reason he lives on is because I'm so monumentally successful that people are interested in my origin story and he is mentioned. Mm. The reason I will live forever is because my son will be so monumentally successful that they'll talk about how he could have been such a perfect specimen of man, how <laughs> he was raised, and they will mention me. If you give a shit about your ancestry and if you give a fuck about your family and you're not a selfish person and you want them to exist out in the ether for reality, for, for the- hey, He in his bag right now. He talking about ancestors tapping into that, what they want to see, achievement. But you can see the stuff that was placed in him as a young dude. You know what I'm saying? And even how he was talking to him. He was like, my dad passed away nine years ago, but they still know him because of me. Legacy. I like that. Eternity of reality it is your duty to be successful. That's why I got dad to start the YouTube channel, because it's kind of commemorating you forever. People Completely. can look at that. Am I on my way? <laughs> <laughs> but, Not yet. 100 years yeah, you've got loads yeah, of time left. But yeah, no, it's always there for people to look at. And it's yeah. like that version of my dad that I always saw, you know, Completely. and I wanted other people to experience Completely. that. Completely. So if you love your family mm. and you love your last name mm. and you're proud of yourself, mm. then you have a duty to be massively monumentally successful to show homage to your ancestors. Mm. I find it amazing there are people out here today who are going to sit and say, oh, I'm sad, I'm too depressed, I don't want to work hard. There, do you understand that only 200 years ago, there were peasants out working a field, starving, mm. surviving the Black Death, surviving the plague, struggling to exist just to reproduce so that 200 mm. years later, you can be the end of their bloodline for you to sit on your ass and do mm. fucking nothing. Wow. Like, well, you're a fuck up. You're fucking up your entire bloodline of your entire ancestry. You owe these people things. You must, they went through hell for you to exist. You have a debt, you have a duty to pay. You have to be the best possible version of yourself. Mm. And the same to God. God loves people who try. God loves people who work hard. Mm. It's amazing if you try your very best all the time, what God will give you. Mm. He'll give it to you, anything you want. Mm. If you actually try, not, not convincing yourself you try. Right. Actually right, try, right, they're different right. things. But yeah, I was instilled with this because from a young age, my dad said, you're a Tate and Tate's are the, the greatest people on the face of the planet. And there's gonna be a day I'm not here anymore and they're gonna talk about me because of how fantastic you are. Mm. So go do your fucking job. And I said, yes, sir. And here I am. All right, that was Andrew Tate, be ruthless. Reveals the secret to success. I like that. I ain't even gonna cap. I like that. I like what he was talking about. I like tapping into the ancestors, being successful, pushing yourself even when you're tired. 
all that stuff is very important if you want to reach certain levels and even the people that he was talking about surrounding yourself with you say you want to be x y and z strong brilliant successful but you're not even around strong brilliant and successful people very important and i like the fact that it was instilled in him at a young age so this this andrew tate right here or this version of him super fire and i see why y'all wanted me to check him out y'all let me know more about this dude in regards to what i should check out next till next time self-love and positivity fire squad i got you and you know it hey